Yeah, I need to just turn it down to one hit point. That's probably not good. I don't know what's going on in my stream, but it crashed on me. Hopefully it didn't crash on you guys. Took me down to one hit point again. Maybe it doesn't like magic being used on. I don't know. Well, they just did the Marley too. to Toronto. Ah, uh, that's right. Either it takes you down to one or does nothing. If you're already at one. Like so. So there's really no point to heal yourself. Despite what your instincts would tell you to do. Alright, kill him. Got 30 tech points and some experience. And he gives us Three each of petals, fangs, horns, and feathers. He's pretty strong take. He gives us a third eye as well, which is a accessory. An accessory. That gives us two X evade, so it doubles our evade stat. And we need to heal now, because everybody's down to one, which is not good. Alright, that's close enough to pull. We'll do a couple more battles here, and then uh, go to the trading hut to see if we can trade in anything. I'm not going to fight that gray thing if I can avoid it. So I do not like those guys. Hey, here's a frog. We can take them out. One ice water will do the trick. Bye bye frogs. Nice knowing you. Let's go over here. Okay, if we can. There's a lot of hidden pathways through this area. Rain it again, see if we can find a new dime. Probably not. Especially if I go the wrong direction. Stop raining before we got there. Another frog here. Nice water again. the exit here will leave. This is it. Yep, here we go. Let's go back to the trading hut and see what, if we got enough to get anything. No, that's not the right one. That's not either. Well, where is it? We can get the sweet water in here though. Does our health and magic back, so we don't have to waste the shelter. Do you saw it? Oh, that's right, it doesn't actually tell you that it's the trading hut. You have to go in there to find that out. So it doesn't tell you which equipment gives you what. You have to talk to one of the other people to do that.
So we got a dream gun there. That's for Luca, of course. Three each of any two items. That's Pell and Fang. I'm gonna do Horn and Feather. That's because it's a rock helm. I'll do Pedal and Horn. This is a dream bow for Marley. I'll do a pedal and feather. Magma hand, that's for a robo. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we did pedal and fang, horn and feather. Pedal and horn, pedal and feather. I think we have to do fang and feather and fang and horn. Do a thing and horn. Aeon Blade, that's probably for either Chrono or Frog. Fang and Feather will do now. Ruby Vest, that's for everybody. Anybody can use one of those. And the Aeon, Aeon Blades for her Chrono. Helps her attack by 15. Wow. That's quite the upgrade. Carl's already got a rock helm, and he already has a ruby vest, so he doesn't need those. Frog, though, could definitely use the rock helm. It's a big upgrade. Yeah, the bronze helm, that'll give him an extra 13 defense. Or 12 defense, rather. I can use the ruby vest, but it's the same defense rating. It just cuts. Fire damage by 50%. So, we'll see if anybody else can use it better. Dreambow from Marley ups her attack by 13. Ruby Vest is actually worse for her in terms of defense rating. I'm gonna hand it ups Robo's attack by 11. You could use the Ruby Vest, gives him a 6 extra defense. Dream Gun ups Luca's attack by 13. I could keep the Taven Vest on Luca, but it's a lower defense rating. So we're going to switch her to the Mist Rogue. Because they're an increase of 21 defense, which is quite a lot. I think we should pay a visit back to Luca's father, see if uh, he'll give us anything. Periodically through the game, if you go visit him, he will give you stuff for her. I think she has to be in your party, though, to be able to do that. So we're going to have to switch out Frog here. I can go the right direction, that would be helpful. It'd be nice if we could just go straight to the gate and not have to run around these guys. Make things a little bit quicker. Oh, almost ran right into those guys. Out of the way. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna go back to end time, switch out Frog for Luca, and then go back to 1000 AD and pay a visit to Luca's father, and that will wrap up the stream there. So uh, we'll do the other stuff in BC later on in another stream. So we gotta switch out. We'll go now. Alright. So we'll try this thousand. No 
Let's see, uh, Medina Villa, but I'm gonna want that one. So I want Water Air Forest in 1080. That's a correct one. Still don't have what we need to open the black treasure chest yet, so we won't leave that.